As we discussed in the previous video, GagePack has two primary goals. The first of these goals is to keep gauge information organized and easily accessible. This video will demonstrate several of the features in GagePack that are designed for meeting this first goal. This is the Gauges tab. It contains a list of every active gauge or instrument and is the foundation of an organized gauge database. Users have the ability to specify which gauge characteristics should be used as columns on the list. For example, if calibration due date is an important field and should appear on the Gauges tab, it can be added by simply dragging and dropping. These columns can also be used to resort the entire gauge list with a single mouse click. In addition, the gauge list can also be easily filtered by using the drop down box to the right of the grid. This allows the user to display only that set of gauges which meet a specific set of criteria. For example, let's imagine that I want to see a list of all of the gauges that are currently located in the tool crib. I can simply select from the filter drop down and activate my tool crib gauges filter. This list is immediately updated to display only those gauges which are currently located in the tool crib. In the bottom left corner, I can see a total of only those gauges that meet that filter criteria. Filters are easy to create and can be activated at any time by simply selecting it from the filter dropdown on the right side of the gauge pack window. To deactivate a filter, simply choose a different filter or select none at the top of the list. Information about a specific gauge can be viewed and edited by double-clicking on a row from the gauges list. The gauge form then appears and is made up of several tabs. The general tab contains basic generic information about the instrument. The history tab provides a color-coded record of every event for this gauge going back to the very beginning of the database. Double-clicking on any of these rows will present the user with more details about the event, including any measurements that were recorded. The Calibration tab allows the user to define how frequently the gauge is calibrated. The calibration intervals can be based on time, number of uses, a combination of both, or a manually entered date. This tab also provides the user with a place to store the calibration procedure in order to ensure this piece of equipment is calibrated properly. This procedure can be easily accessed during a calibration event. There are several more tabs on the gauge form, but they are outside of the scope of this brief overview. The reports in GagePack are another powerful tool for keeping gauge information organized. These reports will extract useful information from your database and display it in an easily readable format. For example, here's a report that shows a list of all gauges due for calibration. There are many predefined reports built into the software, but users also have the option to design their own using the Report Design Wizard. These and other tools in GagePack enable users to easily interact with their gauge information in meaningful ways. In the next video, we will discuss various ways that GagePack alerts users to upcoming gauge servicing events.